flashes when it's on, right? Yeah. Okay. That's on. Okay. So, your report ready for the run of bay. India Sierra November is ready in the run of bay. India Sierra November, taxi holding point Bravo 2, runway 1-1 one, one right. Taxi to Bravo 2, runway 1-1 one, 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 one right, India Sierra November. Alright. Sierra November, confirm, holding point Bravo 2. Excuse me, holding point Bravo 2, runway 1-1 one, one right, India Sierra November. I was waiting for that. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> As soon as I said it, I thought it was probably wrong. I was going to interject, but I thought, no, I'll see if he's doing his job, and he did. Thank you for not interjecting. <laughs> On the weekends, a lot of the time, they, they allow people to do that, yeah. so they're not consistent, but however I want you to be. No, yeah, I want to be consistent, so if you hadn't said it, you should have told me, yeah. Alt, uh, strobe and landing, and uh, I'll, I'll do that in a moment. Um, Bravo three, Bravo three looks good. Okay, right, and I'll report ready. To Bank Sound Tower, uh, Robin India Sierra November is ready at holding point Bravo two runway one one right for circuits. India Sierra November Tower, hold position. Hold position, India Sierra November. Hotel uniform, Zulu, run my right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, run my right, hotel uniform, Zulu. Mike Romeo Charlie, down one touch and go. Mike Romeo Charlie, follow Cherokee on base. Got excited, Mike Romeo Charlie. Sorry. Alright. So. Five point seven. Get damage. Touch again. Twenty-one fifty static rows. Mike Romeo and Charlie, go around. Going around, Mike Romeo and Charlie. Airspeed is indicating. 
Premier Charlie Remember, 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 I just aren't using the forward stick and trying to make it land. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's bad. I tell you, home Zulu, downwind for a full stop. I tell you, uniform Zulu, follow Cherokee Lake downwind. Pumps are up, power is full, fuel pump is on, engine temperatures and pressures are green. And where's my traffic? I've lost it. Has it already made it further? He went around. He okay. went around, okay. Let's turn, let's turn then. So he's a bit ahead of us now. Okay, thankfully. Thanks, Dan. Thankfully. Tower, India Bravo, uniform ready, runway right for circuit. Yeah. India Bravo, uniform tower, hold position. Hold in position, India Bravo, uniform. We've got about 10 knots of crosswind. 15, 15, yeah. runway right, clear touch and go. Pretty. I can runway feel right, it. Clear touch and go. Take 15, 15, 9. overlap a little bit, so yep. let's turn left a bit more. Okay. And do your pre landing checks, don't worry about it. Alright. You'll see them on vinyl. Alright, brakes of pressure. The carriage is fixed. Mixture is rich. Uh, fuel pump is on, fuel selection is on, pressure and contents, warning light. And India Bravo uniform harness. line up runway right, be ready immediate. India Bravo uniform line up runway right. Uh, there we no, that's a bird. <laughs> Watch your height. First, okay. Traffic sighted, India is here in November. Yeah. India Bravo uniform, follow the Cherokee upwind, runway right to clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, India Bravo uniform. Charlie, follow the Robin early base. Track started, Micro Mia Charlie. Hotel uniform, Zulu, follow Cherokee, just airborne on my right, clear touch and go. We go, traffic in sight, hotel uniform Zulu. Pressure's a 
traffic. Uniform, down, Bravo Uniform, downwind, touch and go. Bravo Uniform, follow Cherokee Lake, downwind, turning base. Follow Cherokee, India Bravo Uniform. Please leave off Zulu, downwind, touch go. Hotel Uniform, Zulu, follow Cherokee Lake, downwind. Traffic inside, Hotel Uniform, Zulu. Cool. Runway right, clear, touch and go. Runway right, clear, touch and go, second name 1559. India Sierra November, downwind, touch and go. India Sierra November, follow the Cessna light downwind. Traffic sighted, India Sierra November. Close. Yankee runway right, clear, touch and go. Touch and go, runway right, 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 right. Brakes are fresher, undercarriage is fixed. Air is rich, fuel collection, fuel pump, pressure and contents, morning light, canopy, harness. Looking at the front, you can see the airplane's drifting sideways. Yeah. Uh, the angle added a little bit more. I haven't compensated, yeah. Alright, uh, there goes my 100 feet. Look how low he is. Yeah, quite low. Less than 500 feet there. Gotta put it in super slow. Can you probably uniform on my right, please touch and go. Clear touch and go, one way right, India Bravo uniform. Shallow. Charlie, down with request, departure to training area. Put our airspeed. Yep. Do something about it. Hotel uniform, Zulu, go around, follow Cherokee, just airborne. Going around, traffic inside, hotel to Zulu. Micro Mayor Charlie, stand by. Standing by, Micro Mayor Charlie. Take them 1559. Where's your flaps at 10 degrees? We're going to be landing with 10 degrees of flat. That is the cross wing component we're getting. Okay, we're decreasing now. So you don't have to use full flat. Continue on your right, we'll advise. Hold the center line, so track it. That's it. Now keep the nose to the right slightly, that's it. Every time you try to fly straight, you'll go to the left. Yep. Reduce your power now a little bit, keep aiming for the numbers. Yeah. Okay, like yeah. that. Mike Hold Romeo, Charlie, depart downwind, 1,500. Okay, now let's just get a left runner. Right, right wing low. Now keep aiming for the numbers. Aim, 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 aim. Start downwind, 1,500 feet, monitor 132, decimal 8. Go around. Too high. No, we didn't get clearance. Oh, we didn't get clearance, but... Damn it. Thank you. So do I call that then? Yeah, raise your flaps now. Yep, should I call that? Fox for Yankee, follow the tank. Hey, trust me. Okay. India Sierra November, copy the go around, follow the east, start with. Uh, traffic sighted, India Sierra November. Alright. Flaps are up. Power is full. Fuel pump is on. Pressures and pressures are green. Extend this for pretty far, right? Just got to 700, then turn. 
Okay, even though he won't be a beam. Okay, we can't go too far out, so now, good. India Bravo, uniform down, wind touch and go. India Bravo, uniform, follow Cherokee. Now. Follow Cherokee, India Bravo, uniform. This is where we go full flap. Okay, should I do it? Yep. Alright. I tell you, uniform Zulu, down, wind touch and go. I tell you, uniform Zulu, follow Cherokee, mid down, wind. Traffic inside, I tell you, uniform Zulu. Second M15, 59, run my right, clear to land. Run my right, clear to land, second M15, 59. Uniform November Juliet, hold position, confirm ready. Okay, now stop your turn there, lay off with the wind. Yes, thank you. Okay. Pick a point somewhere in the horizon and hold that yeah, constant. Yeah, I have been, but it wasn't the right point. Okay. <laughs> right eh? Is that my traffic turning base now? Yeah, that's him. We really are going slow. Yeah. Should I go back? Drop it in the Sierra November, downwind touch and go. Thank you. In the Sierra November, follow us to light downwind. In the Sierra November, we'll go. Brakes and pressure, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich, fuel pump is on, uh, fuel selection is on, pressure and contents, warning light, canopy. Right, Fox right, Yankee, runway right, clear touch and go. We have to go, runway right, Mike Fox right, Yankee. Look where he is. He's only about four or five hundred feet there. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. that's real bad, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, in this case, yeah, I still want to get him a beam or? Just keep going, just, just, like, just like a normal pattern. All right. If we get too close, we'll go around. So All right, we'll then we'll go around. All right. Not yet. Not yet? No. We've, We've got, got an angle one, off. One cord? Oh, yeah, right. Cord and a half. A cord and a half, okay. So, probably about now. Okay. And as you turn, raise the flaps to 10 degrees. Uniform November, Julia, on frequency. Uniform, do you uniform due jet the pipe off the meter on my go around? Going around and do proper uniform. He'll be going around. Yeah. Now let's hold 600 feet to raise your nose. Power up. That's what you didn't do last time. Right, because I'm too shallow. Fox right, Yankee will advise. Oh, now? Okay, let's turn. And now, we'll reduce your power. Yeah, our energy is maintained. Yep. Okay. I tell you to form Zulu follow uh, Again, 10 degrees of flat. Yep. And we'll go for 75 knots of pressure. But we'll have to do a, a crap approach. And okay. we're going to kick it straight. With, it, with the left rudder. Yeah. Okay. Mike Fox right, Yankee depart downwind 1500, monitor 132 decimal 8. Reduce your power a little bit. A bit more to the right. That's it. Good. Okay, now, better left rudder, better right aileron. Hold that right wing down slightly to hold the drift. That's it. Keep going down. down. In your Sierra November, on my right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, run my right, in your Sierra November. Keep going down. Down, down, and you got a flare of one wing down. One wing down. Sound tower, uniform November, Juliet, ready, runway 11 one, one right for circuit. The wing down. Uniform November Juliet Tower, line up around my right. Yeah. Line across when you can't right, send it. November okay. Juliet. Okay. Yeah. Full power, right rudder. 65 knots, rotate. Centre the ailerons. But with a crosswind you can't center, is that what you said? When you're landing, yeah. that's what you did, you wanted to put the eight on neutral. Okay, you don't do that. Yeah. You're going to land one, two, three. It really felt like we were going to turn too far to the right. Uh, on the Juliet, but on the center line, we're holding right. it. Right. Clear for takeoff. Pumps are up, power is full. Runway right, clear for takeoff. No pumps on. The Juliet. Engine temperatures and pressures are green. Alright, traffic is there. I will turn at 500. I 
Bravo uniform number one, runway right. Number one, runway right, India Bravo uniform. Uniform. Bravo uniform, Bravo uniform, Bravo uniform. Follow Cherokee Lake downwind. Traffic is up. Hotel Uniform Zulu. India Sierra November, then when touch and go. India Sierra November, follow the Cessna like downwind. Looking for traffic, India Sierra November. Is that it there? Yeah, okay. Traffic sighted, India Sierra November. Please need warrant bomb. <laughs> yep. Brakes have pressure, undercarriage is fixed. Sure is rich, fuel pump is on, fuel selection is on. Uh, pressure and contents and warning light. And a B. Uh, India Bravo uniform, runway right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway right, India Bravo uniform. That was better that time. It was. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> and you maintained your heading too. India Bravo Juliet, downwind, touch and go. Am I having trouble finding that guy because he's in the wrong Julia, place? Yeah, because he's so low, that's why. Yeah, okay. India Bravo Juliet. Yeah, India Bravo And I'll leave the power on till about halfway in the turn. Okay, cause yeah, I've been taking it too early. Yeah. Okay, let's turn. I'll turn now. Maybe now? Not yet. Yeah. Turn now. Just don't forget you're already at 85 knots. Yeah, that's right. But I've got uh, some speed to watch off. Well, in high speed configuration, I have some speed to watch off. Hey. Yeah, it's low speed. It's basically a level turn, and just before you finish the turn, you're probably okay. back. Yeah, As you can see the difference now. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. I, I guess I was thinking of the high speed uh, procedure. Hotel Uniform Zulu, runway right, clear to land. Clear land, runway right, Hotel Uniform Zulu. It's shallow, maybe? No, it's alright. No? Okay. Okay, right, go around. He's here November on my right, clear touch and go. Sorry, I'm taking over. Uniform November Juliet, runway right, clear touch and go. Runway right, clear touch and go, uniform November Juliet. Okay, I should have gone around. Yep, we didn't get clearance. Well, and you don't want to be responding to him whilst you're doing the hold off. Okay. So I remember this handout you gave me. I think it was written by Noel about how if they give you clearance near the threshold, just land. India Bravo uniform, down with touch and go. India Bravo uniform. But you see, you're in two minds. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. Okay. So if you're in two minds, go around. Is exactly. That, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. But I generally, can... if, if you're a flare height and he hasn't given you clearance yet, then go around. All right. Simple as that. All right. Okay, we've got no traffic. Hooray, at last. We might be able to do a flapless approach. Oh, do they, are they gone? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, but the sister taxied off.
Robin in the Sierra November, downwind touch and go. In the Sierra November, follow Cherokee on base. In the Sierra November. Standing over. Brakes have pricked, pressure, undercarriage is fixed. Here it's rich, fuel pump is on, fuel selection is on, pressure and contents, a warning light, canopy, harness, traffic, two o'clock low, two o'clock low. Do I want to slow down then? No, 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 he's alright. Alright. Alright, I want to turn soon. I'm going to turn now. You're probably uniform, runway right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway right, India probably uniform. Are we doing flapless? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna get it down to 85 and then hold uh, level uh, 2,000 RPM, right? No, actually, I don't know. 1,500 it should be. 1,500. Yeah. Usual descent power. Yep. Okay. Uniform November Juliet, downwind touch and call. Uniform November Juliet, follow the Robin early base. Should be about 85. Uniform November Juliet. Permit for that. Right. Turning. Dots in. It's India shallow November, though. Runway right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway right, India's here in November. I'm going too sl slowly, so I want to give it some power. Yep. Five knots. Oh, no. that's what happens when you use forward stick. Can't Did do I? that. Yes. Okay. Force it onto the ground, Aaron. Uh, it's more like uh, the wind gust. I, I don't think I kept it steady while I tried to compensate yeah. for the wind. Uniform November, Juliet, yeah, right, right, clear. That's that far forward. You okay. can see so that's, that's right. more right. movement. Does. And we're all going down, so it accentuates. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Can't do that. This was a lot easier without wind. Yeah. Without crosswind. Yeah. Well, I think you're getting fatigued now because of all of this. Yeah. This is not usual for you, so. And he's getting rougher, so we'll call it quits. But okay. we'll try to really concentrate on this last one okay. and get it done right. Alright, are we going to do flapless or no? Yeah, we'll try to do, we'll do flapless. I'll be directing you this time. Okay, sounds good. Got traffic mid downwind. Yep. November is down when full stop for the northern side is available. India Sierra November, continue runway right, will advise follow the Cherokee late downwind. Continue for right, follow the Cherokee, India Sierra November. India Bravo uniform, downwind touch and go. India Bravo uniform. Standing over. All right. Brakes have pressure, undercarriage is fixed. Air is rich, fuel pump is on, fuel selection is on, pressure and contents, morning light, canopy. Harness. Traffic.
Virginia Bravo Uniform, run my right, clear touch and go. Run my right, clear touch and go, India Bravo Uniform. Maps are coming up. Okay. So raise the nose, keep it at 1500. Back for runway right, unless they call us. Yep. Okay. Might be using runway. Yep. Okay. Back for runway right for sure. In midfield. So we're a bit flat now. So put the nose on the horizon. 2,000 yep. RPM. Too quickly. Uniform number Virginia. Downwind touch and go. Okay. Now back to the number Julia. There we go, that's a better angle. Okay, aim midfield. Uh, no, sorry, a couple dots in. Yeah. All to the right. All to the right. India Sierra November, runway right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway right, India Sierra November. Okay, left rudder. Bit of right aileron. Hold it like that. Power to idle. Okay, the center line. A little bit better, yeah. Okay, start the brake smoothly. All right, I'm turning. Right up here and do FFFF LT. Hold on for a sec, we'll just, just go past the holding point. Stop. On the ground. Yep. Yeah, there you go, let me do it. Um, ground India Sierra November is on Bravo for November. India Sierra November, taxi via Bravo on Alpha. Taxi via Bravo on Alpha, India Sierra November. That way. Thank you. Yeah, don't turn left or right, just get uh, clear of the uh, runway, do the call, because sometimes they can just go that way or that way, spinning them off. Last time, last time Pete yelled at me for stopping. Taxi clearance? He said, Julia, taxi holding point Charlie, runway 11 left, time 4, 6 and a half. Yeah, you get off the runway, you don't stop beforehand. Sometimes you clear clear the runway, you don't impede anyone. Yeah. Okay. You get, you get, do your checks, do your call, and that way you know which way to go. All right, all right. I was trying to follow Pete's advice last time, which was don't cause a backup even past the holding point. But uh, I'm, ha I'm happier to stop, honestly. Yeah. Uh, we knew who was behind us, and he was still on final approach. Uh, okay, alright, so, so you know there's no, not going to be a backup. Yeah. So, in, in terms of when we're on the arrival departure side, yeah, you don't want to do that because there's usually someone really close behind you yeah. ready to, to land and come off. Okay. But in that case, you would stop. See, that's the problem we got. See how it's shifting? Yeah, it sure is. And with those corrugated roofs, that's why you get a lot of that turbulence on final approach. Oh, really? Yeah. From the wind, uh... Yeah, those corrugated roofs cause a big swirl. Oh, okay. Probably noticed every time we took off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going like that. Yeah, that's, definitely noticed it. <laughs> that's the swirl. If it's a southwesterly, but it hits those roofs, you get it right there at short final. I see. All of a sudden, everything's good, and all of a sudden there's no airspeed. So then you got to really use full power, only for about a second or two, and then the airspeed comes back. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, it felt like... It almost felt like we were dropping um, sometimes. Maybe that was just slowing down, I don't know. Yeah, we had uh, a lot of sink. There was, there was updrafts as well, and we had sink and we had towing component too. Right. Some base, we had tail, but we were running short. A lot of the times you were pulling the power back, as if you were in fast speed, but we had flap out. And, and that was causing about 150 foot of height loss. Oh, okay. All right. You're talking about the whole time around the flapless ones? No, initially you were leaving. You were pulling the power off as soon as we started. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. Because if you're slow, you're already at the, the yep. base speed. Yep. Don't pull the power until near the end of the base turn. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I was thinking of the fast, the fast speed one, where you pull it immediately and bleed off the speed, right? Yeah, but differentiate the two in your mind, because yep, if absolutely. you're doing a slow one, that's the one you got to do. Yep. So, I, I think what I've understood now is, uh, the part of the function of the base turn is to bleed off speed if you've got too much. Yeah. But in that case, we, we don't have too much, we're already at the right speed. Correct. Okay. 
saw in that last one how we landed on one wheel first. Yeah. The airplane won't pirouette around, but if you've got a crosswind, you have to do that because otherwise you're landing with sideways components. Oh, okay, so we do want to have hit one wheel, one wheel first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You have to. I think I was trying to avoid that. Okay. No, no, no. The airplane lands quite happily on one wheel. Because the mass and the inertia is taking us that way, if you're yeah. straight, no it's no problem. Okay. But if you're going this way, the airplane wants to pirouette around. Ah, uh, I see, okay. Because that right, way it'll like, try to tip over the wheel. Yeah, because we've got yeah. keel surface. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, that was a lot harder than last time. I, oh, felt yeah. pretty, I felt pretty confident last time. Oh yeah, well that's what... Yeah, that's 10 knots. Okay. Uh, I, I won't let you go solo within any more than 8 knots. Okay, of course. Right. Well, I, I'm glad I got to try it. Like, uh, it still feels doable, just a lot more difficult. Like, yeah. And that's what it's like when you get a crosswind, particularly on that runway, um, you get a lot of wind shear, and that, that's what really is more dangerous. The, the crosswind component, it'll cause you not to land straight on the runway. However, but the wind shear, that's the, that's the difficult one. You mean uh, the switching of direction, is that what wind shear means? Yeah, yeah. the okay. wind changes direction so suddenly, so you, all of a sudden you've got headwind component, and you've got tailwind. Yeah. And, and that will cause, that cause problems if you're not on top of it. There's, yeah. only, there's only one of them when you're on base that you let the speed get back almost to 65 knots. Yeah, I, I noticed, okay. But what what should I have, I should have uh, leveled out and, and applied power, or? Apply more power. Apply more, just apply more power. Yep. Okay. Because you had the power less than 1500. Yeah. And we had full flap. Oh, that was with full flap. Yeah, okay. And yeah, that one felt very weird. I wasn't quite sure what to do about it. Normally with a full flap, if you're going super slow speed, what I do is I pull it up on base so you have the same base config. Oh, yeah, you get rid of the full flap, but you go yeah. to 10 degrees. Yeah, just 10 degrees. So you're used to the, so the base config is as, as usual. Yeah. So uh, that safety memorandum that uh, Pete sent said not to use full flap in downwind and only do it like once you get to the base turn point. That, or, or at least not, a de not an early downwind, maybe late downwind. Oh, you, it's your option. You can go super slow speed if the traffic's right in front of you. You've got no other option. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, yeah. that's what we did today. That, that was the, the issue today, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, we had traffic which was going wide, and, and as a consequence, they're taking a long time to get from base to touchdown. Yeah. Okay. But you saw all the other guys, they were super low. Yeah, they were flying a good circuit. On, on final approach, they leveled off at 300 feet and just dragged it to the, to the threshold. Yeah, that's, right. That's not how you do it. Okay. Well, I think the biggest lesson I learned today is uh, taking over. We're going to give away oh, to these guys. Of course, thank you. Yeah, keep going. Uh, I think the biggest lesson I learned today is uh, if there's any doubt, just go around. Yeah. Right. I, I should. I mean, I knew that logically, but now I'm, I hope I know it better now. Yeah. Is there a difference between knowing it and knowing it habitually? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be able to say I know it when I apply it consistently, but yeah. <laughs> But it was also wrong of him to leave it so late. Oh, I know. Because yeah. the other guy was beyond the manoeuvring area when we were at 300 feet. Yeah, right. And yet he waited all the time. And there was a couple other times where I told you to go around because he didn't get clearance. Yeah, right. Okay, so yeah, I think he's, he's a trainee, but like three times in one lesson, that's a bit long. Yeah. Is that the fresh air procedure for one of those? Yeah, I see. They got a roof, so they don't cop the sun as much. Oh, okay. But they still do get stuck. It's not as hot. In the, okay. And they've usually got about. They got two vents up here and one there, so they they got oh. pretty good ducting. Probably the propeller drives uh, drives the wind through the, the vents even on the ground, doesn't it? Not as much. Okay. Looks a bit sketchy. Yeah, <laughs> stay away from him. Yeah. I, mean, I guess they have wind shear too, right? Yeah, well, in, in wind lock today, it's much harder to fly one of those. Yeah, but. Hey. I didn't know about the wind, I'd say he's drunk. I've done a simulator, I know they're really difficult. <laughs> I shouldn't talk. Yeah. Particularly like hovering, 
something yeah. like that, it's it's very difficult. Is that the hardest part? Yeah, it's like trying to balance a cue ball and a cue stick. Oh, okay, well, then you put it that way. I saw the, um, the Bell helicopter in the hangar. Is that the one that they were giving rides on? Uh, that's cool. The uh, 47? Is that right? That's the MASH one, isn't it? Yep, it's the MASH one. <laughs> I think it was Hotel Uniform. I probably made those helicopters famous, that, that movie. Oh, I think it did. I think it did. <laughs> but it was that era anyway, Korean and Vietnam. Or, yeah, that one's been fully refurbished. Okay. Like they stripped it, sandblasted it, and uh, redid it. Yeah, it looks like it's got a fresh paint job. It's a fresh paint job, new engine, new gearbox, new everything. <laughs> The guy that, that, that owns it, he's a Qantas captain, so that's his, that's his toy. I see. But he flies it up to Carafa, places like that, up in the Kimberley. Oh, wow. That sounds nice. It would take a lot of bloody time. Yeah, it would. Uh, those can't go a lot more than 100 knots, right? That's right. Masochism. <laughs> yeah. Or Not a great cruising flight. aircraft, I suppose. No, we're going to do our ops on the Western Grass and the Taxi Wire Echo will remain clear over the Western part of World Call Tower when we're there. Yankee Del Lima. Yankee Del Lima, thank you. Flight Julia Tango, ready in the run up Flight Julia Tango, taxi holding point Bravo to runway right. Taxi holding point Bravo to runway right. Mike Julia Tango. Okay, handing over. Thank you. I'll be your park break. Yes, thank you. This is Alpha 3 with Golf request. Thank you for the departure. Alright, Victor, 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 Taxi Holding Point, Charlie, Runway 1. Parking break is us. Lights and Peter switches are on. Papa, Victor, Victor. Oh. 900.